Hey everybody, in today's video we're going to create a navigation bar using HTML and CSS. So, let's get started. We'll begin by creating an H1 title for the title of our web page. Why don't you go ahead and type in your name, or your employer's name, or your business name. Really doesn't matter. Then I'm going to use a nav element, also known as a navigation element. Navigation elements are typically used for a set of navigation links. I will give this nav element a class of navbar. Then within this navigation element, I'll create an unordered list. My unordered list will contain one list item for each category in my navigation bar. For the first list item, let's create a category for home. I would like to turn this category into a hyperlink. I'll surround this text with a pair of A tags. Within the opening A tag, I will set the href attribute to be... I'll just keep it empty for now. We'll fill that in later. Let's copy our list item, paste it a few times, maybe a total of four links. For the categories, let's have home, about, products, and contact. These are a few common categories you may see for a navigation bar. Alright, then outside of our navigation bar, let's use a main element for the main content for our web page. I'll add an h3 element for a sort of subtitle for the main section of our content. This is the home page. Then I'll add a paragraph of text. To generate some text in VS Code, you can type lorem, then hit tab. Alright, that is what we need for now. Let's go to our style sheet. The first thing I'm going to do is text align our h1 element and set it to center. Text align center. The text in our h1 element should be right in the center. I will take our navigation bar class, select our unordered list, set the list style type to be none to remove the bullet points. And they are gone now. I'll also change the background color. Let's pick a dark gray color. I'll set the lightness to be 25. I'll remove any padding, as well as any margins. Let's style these hyperlinks. Within our navigation bar class, take any A elements, set the color to be white, Remove the text decoration. Text decoration will be none. That removes the underline. I'll add some padding of 15 pixels. I will display these elements as a block. Then text align center. There we are. This navigation bar is a vertical style navigation bar. This is a style you may see at the bottom of a web page. When I hover over one of these links, I want to change the background color. We will take our navigation bar class, take any A elements, then apply the hover pseudo class. When I hover over one of these hyperlinks, I'll change the background color. I'll turn down the lightness slightly to 10% lightness. There we are. If you would like a horizontal navigation bar, here's a change we can make. With our navigation bar class, take any list items, then we will float left. One change we'll make within our unordered list, set the overflow property to be hidden. Alright, that's pretty good so far. There is a little bit of margin around the body of my document. I am going to set margin to be zero. With our body element, set any margin to be zero pixels. If you would like margin around the main content of your page, we will take our main element, then set margin to be, let's stick with 20 pixels. You also could put margin just on the left side and the right side. You know what, I'm gonna set margin left to be 20 and margin right to be 20. All right, then lastly, let's fill in these href attributes. 
For the href attributes, I will set my home link to be index.html, about will be about.html, products.html, and contact.html. We're going to go to our website folder. We'll create a few copies of our index file. We need three more files. One, two, three. Let's rename one of these as about.html, then products.html, then contact.html. So let's open about. I'll change the header element of our main element to be, this is the about page. Let's apply that for products. This is the products page. Then contact. This is the contact page. All right, and that should be everything. Let's see if this works. We're currently on the home page. I can go to the about page, products, contact, and home. In this example, they're all relatively the same except for the H3 title. All right, everybody, and that's how to create a navigation bar using HTML and CSS.